I can remember I ran into a five mile race about two days before that and I didn't know I was going to be able to play because my body was so sore and my hamstrings were tight, but once I got out there the shots started falling. To score that many points you got to take a lot of shots and, and, and uh, be on some kind of rhythm and some kind of roll and that night I was. Down low for Bird with position, he fakes it and shoots it good. <laughs> Off to Bird for the open 20 footer, it's good. You can't give him that shot. You give him that shot, it's in the well. Ray Williams down low for Bird, who feels it and takes it, and drills it again. He's unbelievable. Larry was shooting threes and one-legged runners. He was making shots that were just ridiculous. As a matter of fact, he made a shot where he fell back into the, into the Hawks bench, and the Hawks players were all high-fiving each other. There's Bird. Bird, 14 seconds, he got fouled. He hit the shot. It was such a difficult shot with, with a guy on top of him, and Larry, uh, with the ability to not only shoot it in, but shot it straight up, and the ball came straight down, and then you can see the Hawks giving each other five, and this is after we're, we're beating them pretty good. I noticed that three or four of the players at the end of the bench were actually rooting for Larry to keep making shots because he was on such a roll. In that particular case, I thought we had to teach what it's about to become a winning team. So yeah, we did love you a few fines when we got back home. I hit a couple tough shots and uh, really didn't know how many points uh, that I was accumulating, but I, I remember I was at the free throw line and uh, the announcer goes, he's going for 51 points and I made the free throw. Now he's going for 52, so uh, he was trying to set up the excitement for the whole thing and we still had about five minutes going in the game, so I knew 60 was definitely in the reach. Shoots the jumper right side, good. I think it's the greatest shooting exhibition I've ever seen. Larry Bird. What more can you say? Larry Bird, Larry Bird. I'd gone to get something to eat with my coaches after the game. We walked back to our hotel, and the doorman saw us hanging our heads coming in. He said, you know, coach, I really thought you were going to beat those guys tonight. And I said, oh, yeah, why? And he said, because when Bird got in, at the hour he got in the night before, I said, there's no way he's going to be able to play the next day and be good. I said, he wasn't good, he was great. Larry Bird scored 60. It is the greatest shooting exhibition I've ever seen in my life. It was a, a great milestone for, for me and, and, and for my teammates, because you can't do it by yourself. But Norm McHale got 56 two weeks earlier, and I got 60. When I told him I was going to get 60, it just made it a little bit more fun.